A double bid could be on the way for Baketa and Zinchenko. Or should I say, is on the way for both players. So in this one, we'll take a look at the latest news on both players. It could be an exciting month. I'm expecting it to be an exciting month in terms of ongoings, uh, incomings, outcome, uh, outgoing, sorry, and uh, the matches that you're playing as well. It's going to be great. So here's the news on Alexa Alexander Zinchenko. I'm all over the place, but here's the news on Alexander Zinchenko. So according to um, reports, Alexander Zinchenko is not interested in Man City Zinchenko and expected to formally bid for the player. So that is according to Sky Sports um, the last couple of uh, minutes. Uh, that, that's according to them. And um, before that, we had heard that Arsenal, according to David Onstein, Arsenal are working on a deal to sign Zinchenko from Man City. Clubs in talks, Man City are open to sell if the valuation is met. Arsenal would also need to agree personal terms. Versatile 25 year old now priority for Ateta after missing Martinez. I already touched on Zinchenko um, in the other video. Why we, we uh, I'd be happy with us signing players from Man City. Obviously, we, we are trying to play in the same style they are. He would be cheap. He has worked with Ateta before. So this would be a perfect deal for us. And we definitely need someone on that left side. Especially if something happens to Tierney once again, we need someone to cover. And Zinchenko is one of those players who could, might not even be only a cover. He might end up taking over that position and he can also play in midfield um, next to Xhaka, next to Party in that role. So that is very, very exciting. So according to Sky Sports, Arsenal are preparing a bid um, for uh, uh, Alexander Zinchenko. That will be below 30 million. Uh, I'm not sure how much Man City are valuing as of now, like two months, like a month ago, when you are linked to him at the start of the transfer window and you're linked to him and Aaron Hickey. They're talking about 30 something million. But I think that they've taken that down. This summer, City seem to be open to sending players. Sterling has gone to Chelsea. Obviously, Jesus has come to Arsenal. Um, they're about to sell Nathan Ake to Chelsea. And now, if they sell Zinchenko to Arsenal, uh, City have, uh, obviously have a plan behind, uh, like, have a plan for this. If they sell all these players, they're probably going to sign someone big. I would expect that, but um, that's none of our business. Zinchenko coming to us will be very, very exciting. So that's the latest on him. Would you guys take Zinchenko or do you think there are other better left backs uh, out there? For me, in the Premier League, um, I would have taken Cucarella, but that would have been like 50 million um, pounds or something, and he would not even come to be a backup. He'd come and play ahead of um, Tierney. But Zinchenko, as, as a guy who's played for Man City, yes, he's not been playing every single day, but at Arsenal, he can definitely help us. Any player from Man City, let me be honest, any player coming from Man City or Liverpool, I'd take because of that mentality. They have that winning mentality. They've played under Guardiola and played under um, Klopp as well. They're definitely um, good players. So that is the latest on Zinchenko. What about um, Paqueta from Lyon? What's the latest on him? Uh, now, we heard about him the last time, um, 10 days we've been hearing about him. Arsenal wanted to sign him from um, Leon. We all obviously do a lot of deals with Leon, the Lacazettes. He came from there and then he went back there. Obviously, we've been talking about Awar the last two years. But this is the latest on um, Lucas Paqueta. Um, uh, according to Charles Watts, Lucas Paqueta is, a, a, is ahead of U Tillemans in Arsenal's list, which is very interesting. A bid for the Brazilian is expected, reports Charles Watts. Now... We were told um, a week ago, I did a video talking about um, the Arsenal being linked to three positions, like we want to buy three players from three different positions. One of them was a left-sided um, defender, so either a left-sided centre-back or left-footer or a, a left-back. And then the second position was a central midfielder, either Milinkovic, Savic or Yuri Tillemans. And the third position was an attacker. They didn't really specify which attacker, so it could be a wing, it could be an attacking midfield, it could be a striker. But we've never heard about any other striker since Jesus joined. So it's either a winger. We've been linked to a lot of wingers the last one month. Nabri, obviously Rafinha, we've been linked to um, Noah Lang. We've been linked to Asensio. And obviously one of them is Lucas Paqueta, an attacking midfielder. So according to reports, Paqueta is ahead of Tillemans in the, um, in the race for signing for Arsenal. But you would expect both of them. If I don't see a reason why if you sign Paquette, you wouldn't sign Tillemans. Tillemans plays in a different role. Yes, they can play in the same position if you're playing a 4-3-3. But if you have both of them, that would definitely strengthen your midfield very, very much. Quite quite a lot. So for me, I wouldn't see a difference there. But it's looking like Paquette, um is ahead of um, Tillemans in terms of signing for us. But then yesterday, we did hear that Tillemans' house is on sale um, in Leicester. And he could be joining us so soon, you never know. It's looking like we are doing a lot of um, secretive transfers, which I don't mind. But I wouldn't be surprised if we sign at least three or four more players this transfer window. I just want us to get at least two before the season starts. Then the other two, 
the the backups probably can get maybe after the season has started and maybe on deadline day because it's always exciting signing up play on deadline day but the important roles we needed two strikers in a midfielder and um, an attacking midfielder uh, pro- probably for me i would say two midfielders and two strikers before the season started that is what i wanted but it's not looking like we're going to get in that striker so we've already gotten jesus makenos um, Fabio Vieira, who are our attackers, and we've also got Matt Tano as the backup goalkeeper. And it's looking likely like Zinchenko will be joining Mikel at the back at Arsenal once again. So that's the latest on those two players. Um, I don't know which one is going to um, join us first. If I was a betting guy, I'd, I don't know. I'd still say Tilliman somehow because it's an easier deal and it's cheaper. But Zinchenko, Paqueta is a lot of money. Now, yesterday, um, Paqueta, this was what was reported on Paqueta yesterday. Arsenal and Lyon uh, are in ongoing talks and uh, discussions for Lucas Paqueta. There is no hurry between the clubs. The price wanted by Lyon is 60 million euros. Now, that is a lot of money. You can't just do that in two days. Lucas wants to make a sporting and financial leap for his career and hopes the move materializes. So that is what was reported on Lucas Paqueta yesterday. We are hearing that Arsenal have been sending um, scouts there for a couple of months now. We've been watching him. We didn't even know about that. We knew about other midfielders and not look. Get in space. So we have to wait and see. It could be any of them. Personally, I think it could be Tillemans. But if you sign all those three players, Zinchenko, and then you throw in Lucas Paqueta, and then like before that, for me, I'll do it before it. You get someone like you Tillemans in those three players in the same window. If you can get all those three players before the season starts, there is no way we are not going to finish in the top four. Because all of a sudden, you have Pat in midfield. You have Lucas Paquette in midfield, you have Tillemans there, you have Fabio Vera if you're playing a 4-3-3, Odegaard is there, Lokonga can learn from these guys, El Neni as a backup, it would be perfect for us. And then up front, um, Katie Fika is on the form from last season, perfect. Jesus is there as well. You have Marquinhos learning from the likes of Saka, Smith, Rowe, Martinelli. That is, that, is, that, is more than, that is more than two lineups right there, attacking-wise alone. And remember defensively, you have Gabriel, you have Ben White. You've already added Saliba into the squad as well. Um, Cedric looks like he's going to stay. Tommy asks if he remains fit. Tien if he remains fit. And also, obviously, Zinchenko if you throw him into that list as well. And I would expect us to sign like four players, to be honest. So these are just the three that we know, or three or four that we know about. Obviously, we won't sign all of them. Maybe two or three out of the four. But we have to, we have to wait and see. Personally, if you have all those players, there's no reason you can finish in the top four and get as far as possible in the... Um, in the Europa League as well. Those are very, very quality players and I'd be very, very happy to uh, sign them all. So let me know if you're the Arsenal manager, which player would you take first from um, all these players that we've talked about? Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.